Hey guys, Michael here again with a tune-up on a, MS, a steel MS250. We took this out last week and tried to start it and literally, we got it started but it took about five minutes to get, to get it running. I've blown out the air filter probably 10 times and I think it's just time for a tune-up on it. So I ordered this kit, comes with the uh, spark plug, fuel filter, air filter, um, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, it's it, it's a lot cheaper than buying like the uh, like the OEM with the package. It's the same. It's an NGK spark plug. It's a OEM spec fuel filter, OEM spec air filter. Um, it's basically the OEM package without the packaging. It's just it comes in this clear plastic bag. Uh, it's a lot cheaper. I think it's like thirteen bucks. I actually called the dealer and asked them how much it would cost to get this saw in to have a uh, service, like a spring service. First of all, they're like a billion weeks behind. Second of all, they said it's $59.95, which is the labor charge, plus the parts, which you're looking at probably another $20 on top of that. So you're spending $80 to tune up your saw when you can do it for $13. Let me show you how. All right, easy enough. You're gonna first swing this knob to the side. Make sure your choke is in the down position. Makes the cover a whole lot easier to take off. Next, you're gonna blow off all of the debris and sawdust and everything from the actual saw and the filter and everything. Okay, next, you're gonna take off the air filter, which is basically, I just take a screwdriver and these little tabs pop up on either side. Pull this little shield off here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take off your spark plug boot. Take the spark plug out. Oh yeah, that was starving for air, look how black that thing is. All right, so open up your kit. Cool. So you have your fuel filter, your spark plug, and your air filter, and you're gonna wanna make sure there's a decent gap on your spark plug. Look at your owner's manual, there's a gapping guide. That looks good enough. Sometimes they come almost perfect. You wanna be able to fit At least like the tip of that screwdriver in between. And put the spark plug boot back on. Snap in this little shield. Snap on the air filter. All right, so looks like that's a tight fit. Cool. All right, now. For the fuel filter, you're gonna want to make a like a hook, maybe out of welding wire or a thin, uh, no paper clip would work, or a, a coat hanger. But you're gonna want to make a thin wire so that you can retrieve that filter. You have to use a couple of things to retrieve the filter. Cool. And this is why we're wearing the gloves. Okay, you're gonna wanna grab a hold of it, pop it off. You're gonna wanna take the other one, pop that right back on, drop it in the tank and you're good to go. Yeah, that one had a whole bunch of crap, and along with this air filter is about as goobered up as possible. 
I've blown it out like 10 times, and it took like five minutes to get this stupid thing started the other day. So here we go. And that's it. Let's, uh, let's throw some fresh gas in it. That should be good to test it. It may take a second to start to get the fuel on the line, but won't take five minutes, I don't think. I love those caps. Okay. Back up. And that's all tune up is right there. It's good to go. Let's uh let's open up the door and uh fire it up. Alright, here we go. Sounds promising. And that is how you tune up an MS250 chainsaw. Also another tip. For the commercial guys out there that are using this thing and you're trying to get business done, buy these chains. It's a 26RS68 for the MS250. And I want to say it's for the 18-inch bar, but it's... Uh, they have not, it's non kickback, so there's, it takes out like bigger chunks. And it's in this, it's got this little yellow, they just told me about this a couple years ago, but it's got this yellow little tag right here. And it's, it, I want to say it's like a buck or two more, but it like carves through logs. You know what? I'll do a demo on it. Actually, a couple videos from now, I got to go do some stuff. I'll, I'll do a demo on the regular chains, the non kickback, and the kickback chains, but this one, Holy camoly, man, this thing just rocks through logs. So, uh, yeah, so there's a tip. All right, guys, that's, uh, that's it for today. But I'm glad we got this chainsaw running. This thing's like, now it's like a dream. Starts in like a couple of pulls, which is really nice. So please like, comment, share, subscribe. I've got more videos, demo videos, and uh, tune-up videos coming up here shortly because it is spring, so we're kind of getting out equipment and kind of doing tune-ups as we go. So, uh, But yeah, if you want this kit, super easy. It's like 13 bucks, free shipping. Uh, I'm going to link it down in the description below. So, all right, guys, have an awesome day.